So we're looking at the um, parabola section of the book of curves and um, looking at the further properties. I'm going to show um, the tangents at the end of a focal chord meet at right angles on the directrix. Um, so I'll be using GX web and uh, we'll take a look at this. Now, the way um, the book defines a parabola is by uh, creating a focus and a, a line here. Um, make the focus a fixed location and we create a perpendicular uh, at B. And we let uh, B move up and down the y-axis and the parabola is the um, envelope of that reflected line as t moves and let's just uh, change the limits on t so we get more of a, a parabola to look at so here's my parabola um, what I want to do is create a focal chord. Um, so there's a chord between two points in the parabola which passes through the focus. Now let's make the first one lie at T, at parametric location T. And the second one we'll put at parametric location S. Now, this is not a focal chord because it doesn't pass through A. So we'd like to see what value of S would make that chord pass through A. Um, and so due to that, I want to look at the distance between A and the chord CD. And uh, so there it is, but we'd ask, ask ourselves, we want that distance to be zero. So what value of S would make that zero? Well, we'd need S times T uh, to be equal to minus A squared. Um, and so S would want to be equal um, to minus s minus a squared over d so let's just let's just do that minus a squared over t And that looks like it's made it a focal chord. Let's just check it out. We can uh, ask for the distance again. A zero, that, that's good. Okay, so now we have our focal chord. It uh, goes to T and minus A squared over T. Now we'd like to look at the, uh, the intersection of the two tangents. Um, which is this point here. Let's have a look at its coordinates. Oh, we see its x coordinate is minus a. That puts it on um, the directrix, uh, which is the line x equals minus a. Um, and uh, we'd finally, we'd like to look at the angle between those two chords, between those two uh, tangents. Uh, so the angle between L0 and L1, uh, pi by two. So that's what we were asked to prove. 